Okay. Alrighty then. Hello, I'm MooglefTW, and welcome back to the magical mystery tour of Final Fantasy IX. Well, you've joined us, picking up Gaia gear and picking up Moogle's Clubland style. Of course, the latter isn't real. I just made a cup of tea, and instead of feeling refreshed and rejuvenated like always, I saw sort of, my mouth's gone dry. I hope I'm not, like, developing an immunity to tea because I've drank so much. Can you do that? Maybe it just burns up in my throat before it's even touched the back. Boom dum Alright, let me get a diamond sword. I'll equip that now. See, that's why it glitched. And now you know. Oh look, a large floating hologram. Is this a planet? No, it's a large floating hologram. Get with the program, Moogle. I just explained it. What was that writing that just appeared? You wouldn't understand. Mother? Terror? Yeah, you don't speak foreign languages. You're a robot. You've been programmed. Any languages I do not under understand make me afraid and angry. Nah. Okay. It's more like the words are talking to me. Yeah, you're just a little bit full of shit there, Moogle. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Gotta catch him all, Pokemon! Yeah, I was writing my next review earlier. Yeah. Hey, I found out a weird secret. The reviews actually take a lot less time to write if I actually plan them first. I know! <laughs> Who'd have known? What's up with that? <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I had a stupid moment. One of many shuffled together that formed my life. I'm not sure if I've ever had an unstupid moment. Feather boots! Yes! Not as good as running shoes though. Oh, I love those puppies. Okay. Not that they're puppies. I'm not suggesting that you make a feather coat, a fur coat out of Dalmatians now. Yes, and he talks about a magical airship from long, long before time. Look at it, it's just sat there like Laputa floating in the sky. I've got to stop making that reference, just in case you watch the other one. Shipbuilding technology primitive. Poor you. P-O-K-E-M-O-N. <laughs> okay. Battleship Invincible Prototype. Prototype Failure. Daw, oh, that's a shame. Look, that's the uh, Hildegarde. That's not... What? Improved version currently in use. But that's the Hildegarde. It even looks like it. It's even got that weird snooty looking nose on the front. What's up with that? No one cares. Alright. P-O-K-E-M-O-N. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to grow weary of this game. Not that I could ever become tired of it, but I mean, seriously, man. 80... Wait, how many parts have we had? I don't know, but it's a lot, okay? Wait, hang on a second. I am in early bird right now, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is part 88. 88! What the hell, man? Okay. Whoa! What's with that noise? When do you ever say whoa? I've never said whoa in my life, apart from here and this other part explaining it. You get the idea. But come on, no one ever says whoa. And I think whoa is going a bit far as well. It's about time someone brought this up, anyway. So one day, there was a planet. The planet declined and, yeah, terror, blur blur, the world, the arch fiend. Anyone remember that film? Yeah. It was crap. Okay, P-O-K-E, so what the heck is all this? That's nice, he reads it like he all understands it at the end. He's like, derp, I don't know. Okay. I need another cup of tea. Yeah, the one I just drank was, um, 20, by the way. We are going to count it, because it was during editing. So, if, like, if you're, like, resting back now because you've accepted my challenge to drink as many cups of tea as I do, then get on that kettle right now. What a disturbing room. Yeah, a robot like you wouldn't understand the beauty of artwork. You're just like, oh my god, faces everywhere in my dreams, brain, oh shit. <sighs> oh, I've seen a robot's brain overheat and explode. It was on the internet somewhere. <laughs> Dot, 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 dot. Well, what else are you going to say, Garnet? Huh, I guess it's speaking directly into our minds. Well, let's go. Come, vagina. Please don't take it the wrong way. Then again, what would be the right way to take a phrase like that? P-O-K-E-M-O-N. <laughs> Visitors, listen well. This is the record of our civilization. How nice for you. The seeds to climb was not our fault. I'm surprised they don't jump. The noise these things make when they pop out, they go like... <laughs> I'd shit my pants if I was throwing that thing, and one of the faces suddenly went in, popped up right behind me. <laughs> Hi! Oh, sugar! Da, 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 da. Oh, honey, honey. <clears throat> yes. Ultimately, the best minds of Terra's civilization gathered, and we found the espers, and blah, blah, Final Fantasy VI, blah, blah, blah. 
blah, gestal, blah, blah. I should be reading this, I'm trying to concentrate on the story here. After four tremendous sacrifices, eternal prosperity seemed within reach. But then, <coughs> didn't work. Flora and Fauna but we ride, but is still in stasis. He missed a word out there. I don't know what it was, it was probably like, my penis. But my penis is still in stasis. Oh, that's tragic, I know. You know, I'm a floating head, it's nice to at least just have a penis. What the hell am I talking about? P-O-K-E-M-O-N? Well, that's not what I'm talking about, but stay with me here. I wanna know, but our friends' lives are in danger. Yep, and in an RPG, nothing beats the power of friendship. What's up with that? I mean, you know, I can understand the power of love. There has been songs about that. Because you don't need money, don't need fame, don't need no credit card to ride this train. You wanna know what you need to ride this train? Yeah, that, that's what you need to ride the train. The power of love. <clears throat> but seriously, I mean, friendship? Come on now. Friendship trumps all. It's time for a friendship speech. No, just no. Look, look, and these two plants are going to farm together now and farm Mickey Mouse. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, the source of all evil is Disney. Dun, dun, dun. Now you know. All right. Let's scooch on. See, Stiltskin's gone. He's like, well, fuck him then. I won't sell him the bloody elixir. And we get this sort of semi-AMV where he's still like, What the hell? I'm still 2D! The fuck's going on? Lordy lordy. Okay, so we're here at the bottom. I was trying to leave there. I'm like, well, balls to this. I don't need your stone. Does Kuja ever actually specify what he wants a stone for? So yeah, bird killer and clear-headed. And auto potion. Yeah, on everyone because you can't use magic. Just trust me. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Although I'm not actually a doctor. I'm actually a gamer I have never had any career in doctoring but it is a saying so yes something's coming probably vagina we've already talked about this earlier on in this part and down comes Ark look at that Triforce there is a Triforce on the floor oh yeah 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 okay and this is Ark what the fudge is that on the front of him looks like he inhaled cloud He's like, oh no, I have to kill Sephiroth. Give me that sword. No, I needed to kill Sephiroth. Get in my belly. And then ate him and stole his sword. And that's the joke. That's what you'll say from now on. You're like, oh look, it's Ark. He ate Cloud. And now we're going to cut him open and find um, Cloud hidden inside with Geppetto and Pinocchio. Yeah, I do one. I do one. Why am I in such a good mood? See, it's always when I, like, someone's about to come back and I'm running low on time that I, like, I'm in the mood to do this. Come along, the magical mystery talk with me, Moogle FTW. I won't tell you what FTW stands for. <laughs> it's dirty. Okay. <clears throat> to the magical mystery talk. Bang. I don't even like that song. Where did it come from, man? All right. So yeah, you can use power break on him, I think. I don't know, I think I just used it for shit and giggles like Fall the Lols ah! Yeah, the tent trick works well, but only at the start of the battle, obviously. Otherwise you just gate up. Yep, I got me a power vest. Awesome. I didn't remember seeing myself steal, so I must have just sort of like I don't know, inhaled it. And like <laughs> And his like shirt flew off. Out of cloud. Straight out of his mouth. That's my shirt! Shut up cloud! And then I took it. Don't worry, I'm sure Geppetto and Pinocchio and Cloud are building a raft inside that great whale's body as we speak. But that's a story for another night. Now off to bed. The Magical Mystery Tour. Oh yeah, in regards to the last part, Shave Our Princess? Where the hell did that come from? What was I thinking? Oh, I'm not trying to mimic the nerd. What were they thinking? No, okay. Yes, feel free to throw, throw, blah, blah, blah. feel free, free to throw, wow, that's a bitching sentence, say it with me, feel free, feel free to throw, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <coughs> yes, alright, that's enough of that crap, and I've said alright about 17 times in this video, can someone count for me, thanks, ha, <laughs> don't pretend, we know we're not going to do it. Yeah, I had to skip out past this battle because it just lasted forever. I was just pounding away at this guy. Even though we all have auto-haste because it's like, 
a priority for me because I just love it. I'm like, no, I'm finishing this. You know what I'm finishing? The never-ending story! And that's the irony, because of its name. But the film does have an end. Believe me, I watched it. There's credits and everything. And then I was like, wow, closure. What the fudge is that doing in a film called The Never-Ending Story? But once again, I've gone randomly off track. Gulugstone!